Hello YouTube, my name is Nero, TV some more Call of Duty World War 2, welcome back ladies and gentlemen, with the new Resistance event being out and everybody running around with the new weapons and the new division, it's pretty easy to forget that the actual Resistance DLC is right around the corner if you have a PlayStation 4. This afternoon, Sledgehammer Games released a trailer showing some gameplay of the three new multiplayer maps, the new War map, and of course the brand new Zombies map, all of which will be available for purchase on January 30th for the PlayStation 4 and February 27th for the Xbox One and the PC. Here in this video, we are going to be checking out that trailer in its entirety, but before we do so, I want to let you guys know that Michael Condry has made yet another post today teasing the addition of the Paint Shop feature, which indicates it will likely be available around the time the map pack releases. Similar to the Emblem Gallery, you will be able to upload your paint jobs for other people to rate, and the top-rated paint jobs will be available for download. And for those that don't know, creators do get a kickback of social score every time someone downloads or likes their work, so there's definitely an incentive for people to make the best paint jobs they possibly can, which should result in some pretty awesome creations. I uploaded my Blurlands Vault symbol, and so far I've gotten, like, I don't know, 15 social score, but a buddy of mine, James Sink HD, he had the number one rated emblem on Xbox One for a very long time, and as a result, he's received almost 10,000 social scores, so there's definitely a lot of incentive here, and according to the images available at the Gunsmith, it appears we'll be able to customize the entire weapon weapon as compared to just one small little section so I'm definitely excited to see what the community is going to come up with but ladies and gentlemen with that out of the way it is time to check out the new resistance DLC trailer let me know what you guys think of it down there in the comment section below as well as your predictions on how the new maps are going to rank based on what I've seen so far which is just trailers and promotional material Valkyrie looks like it's going to be an awesome map that I think I'm really going to enjoy so I'm going to rank it at number one with occupation being number two for obvious reasons it's a remake of resistance from modern warfare 3 and Anthropoid is going to come in at number 3, though I have to say, it looks like it's actually going to be a pretty solid map that's going to add a lot of longer sight lines to the game, which is something I think we need more of here in Call of Duty World War 2. So let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section below. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Drop me a rating, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Take out the enemy train! 